Notre Dame de Paris, French, Our Lady of Paris, is a medieval Catholic cathedral on the island of the Seine River called Ile de la Cité, from French, City Island, in the 4th arrondissement of Paris, France. The cathedral, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, is considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. Several attributes set it apart from the earlier Romanesque style, particularly its pioneering use of the rib vault and flying buttress, its enormous and colorful rose windows, and the naturalism and abundance of its sculptural decoration. It also stands out for its three pipe organs and its immense church bells. In this audio and video guide, we will talk about Notre Dame's breathtaking design, interesting facts, exciting history, and what role did the Pope, Napoleon Bonaparte, and Victor Hugo play in it. And of course, about the major fire destruction that happened in 2019. Before we dive in, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you will not miss any of our exciting videos coming really soon. Before the construction of Notre Dame, there were at least two churches in this place, the Romanesque Church of Saint Etienne and the Baptistery Church of Saint Jean le Rome, both built around the 5th century. In 1160, the Bishop of Paris, Maurice de Sully, decided to build a new and much larger church. He summarily demolished the earlier cathedral and recycled its materials. He decided that the new church should be built in the Gothic style. In 1163, the construction began with the laying of the cornerstone in the presence of King Louis VII and Pope Alexander III. Vault stones were quarried in Vexin, a county northwest of Paris, and presumably brought up the Seine River by ferry. The choir was completed in 1177, and the high altar was consecrated in 1182. In 1190, the bases of the façade were put in place, and the first traverses were completed. The Archbishop Heraclius of Caesarea called for the Third Crusade in 1185 from the still incomplete cathedral. Louis IX deposited the relics of the Passion of Christ, which included the crown of thorns, a nail from the cross, and a sliver of the cross, which he had purchased at great expense from the Latin Emperor Baldwin II. Transepts were added at the choir, where the altar was located, in order to bring more light into the center of the church. Between 1196 and 1260, transepts, the nave, the western facade with two towers, and the upper gallery were completed. An important innovation in the 13th century was the introduction of the supporting flying buttress. They helped to build the walls higher and thinner, and they now could have larger windows. In the 14th century, original buttresses were replaced by larger and stronger ones. In 1431, the ten years old King Henry VI of England was crowned King of France in Notre Dame. During the Renaissance, the Gothic style fell out of style, and the internal pillars and walls of Notre Dame were covered with tapestries. In the 16th century, rioting Huguenots damaged some of the statues of Notre Dame, considering them idolatrous. The fountain in Notre Dame's Parvis was added in 1625 to provide nearby Parisians with running water. Seventy-six paintings had been donated by 1708, but in 1793, most were confiscated or relocated. Louis-Antoine de Noailles, Archbishop of Paris, extensively modified the roof of Notre Dame in 1726, renovating its framing and removing the gargoyles with lead gutters. In 1756, the cathedral's canons decided that its interior was too dark. The medieval stained glass windows, except the rosettes, were removed and replaced with plain white glass panes. After the French Revolution in 1789, Notre Dame and the rest of the church's property in France were seized and made public property. In 1801, Napoleon Bonaparte restored Notre Dame to the Catholic Church and named Paris's new bishop, Jean-Baptiste de Belloy, who restored the cathedral's interior, and in 1804, it was ready for Napoleon's coronation as emperor of the French within the cathedral. In the decades after the Napoleonic Wars, Notre Dame fell into such a state of disrepair that Paris officials considered its demolition. Victor Hugo, who admired the cathedral, 
wrote the novel Notre Dame de Paris, published in English as The Hunchback of Notre Dame, in 1831 to save Notre Dame. The book was an enormous success, which led to restoration between 1844 and 1864. During the liberation of Paris in August 1944, the cathedral suffered some minor damage from stray bullets. Some of the medieval glass was damaged and was replaced by glass with modern abstract designs. In 1963, the cathedral's facade was cleaned of centuries of soot and grime. Another cleaning and restoration project was carried out between 1991 and 2000. On the 15th of April 2019, while Notre Dame was undergoing renovation and restoration, its roof caught fire and burned for 15 hours. The cathedral sustained severe damage. The flesh, the timber spirelet over the crossing, was destroyed, as was most of the lead-covered wooden roof above the stone-vaulted ceiling. After the fire, restoration proposals suggested modernizing the cathedral. Still, the French National Assembly rejected them, enacting a law on the 29th of July, 2019, that required the restoration to preserve the cathedral's historical, artistic, and architectural interest. The task of stabilizing the building against potential collapse was completed in November 2020, and reconstruction began in 2021. The government of France had said it hoped the reconstruction could be completed by the opening of the 2024 Summer Olympics in Paris, confirmed by President Emmanuel Macron. Let's talk about the things you can see inside and outside the cathedral. The bright color of the restored interior will come as a shock to many visitors, accustomed to the grimy gray of the pre-fire cathedral. The two towers are 69 meters, 226 feet, high, and were the tallest structures in Paris until the completion of the Eiffel Tower in 1889. The North Tower is slightly larger, as can be seen when they are viewed from the front of the church. The counterfort or buttress of the North Tower is also larger. The 14 bells of the cathedral are located in the North and South Towers. The cathedral's flesh was located over the transept. The original one was bent during the centuries, and in the 18th century was replaced with the new larger one that weighed 750 tons. The rooster weather vane at the top of the flesh contained three relics, a tiny piece from the crown of thorns in the cathedral treasury and relics of St. Denis and St. Genevieve. Together with relics intact, it was recovered in the rubble shortly after the fire. The scene over the central portal on the west facade, facing the square, vividly illustrates the Last Judgment, with figures of sinners being led off to hell and good Christians taken to heaven. The sculpture of the right portal shows the coronation of the Virgin Mary, and the left portal shows the lives of saints who were important to Parisians. The exterior of the cathedral as a Gothic church was also decorated with sculptures of grotesques or monsters. These included the gargoyle, the chimera, and the strix, or stryge. The gargoyles, which were added in about 1240, had a practical purpose. They were the rain spouts to produce many thin streams. Many of the statues, particularly the grotesques, were removed from the facade in the 17th and 18th centuries or were destroyed during the French Revolution. They were replaced with figures in the Gothic style. The stained glass windows of Notre Dame, particularly the three rose windows, are among the most famous features of the cathedral. They were built in the 13th century. The western rose is 9.6 meters in diameter. It has 24 rays on three concentric circles. The Madonna and Child dominate the center of the composition. The circles represent 12 tribes of Israel, vices and virtues, and 12 signs of the zodiac. The northern rose is the only one to retain its original glass from the 13th century, it depicts Mary enthroned holding the Christ child. Surrounding them are images of kings and prophets of the Old Testament, with 16 prophets in the inner circle and 32 kings and judges in the outer circle. The South Rose, also known as the Midday Rose, given to the church by King Louis IX, is 12.9 meters in diameter. It is the biggest one. It has 94 medallions, arranged in four circles, depicting scenes from the life of Christ and the apostles. 
The third and fourth circles depict scenes from the New and Old Testaments. Notre Dame was originally constructed without a crypt, but in the medieval, burials were made directly into the floor or in the walls. In 1711, a small crypt was dug out in the middle of the choir as a burial vault for the archbishops. Later, there were few more crypts were built. In 1858, the choir crypt was expanded to stretch most of the length of the choir. During this project, many medieval tombs were rediscovered. The great organ of Notre Dame was built in 1403 by Frederick Chambance and was rebuilt and modernized many times over the course of 300 years. The current organ has 115 stops, 156 ranks, on five manuals and pedals, and more than 8,000 pipes. Notre Dame currently has 10 bells. All of them have their names. The two largest bells, Emmanuel and Marie, are mounted in the South Tower. The eight others, Gabrielle, Anne Genevieve, Denis, Marcel, Etienne, Benoit Joseph, Maurice, and Jean Marie, are mounted in the North Tower. The largest bell, Emmanuel, is about 13 tons, equals nine Ford Focuses. The 1905 law on the separation of church and state designates the Catholic Church as having the exclusive right to use it for religious purposes in perpetuity. Notre Dame is one of 70 historic churches in France with this status. The archdiocese is responsible for paying the employees for security, heating, and cleaning, and for ensuring that the cathedral is open free of charge to visitors. The archdiocese does not receive subsidies from the French state. As we are close to the end of our journey, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you for joining us today. Your likes, comments, and subscriptions mean the world to us and encourage us to keep creating exciting videos like this. Interesting facts and takeaways. Construction of the cathedral began in 1163 and was largely completed by 1260. It was significantly modified in succeeding centuries. The cathedral is a widely recognized symbol of Paris and the French nation. In 1805, it was awarded honorary status as a minor basilica. As the Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Paris, Notre Dame contains the Cathedra of the Archbishop of Paris, Laurent Ulrich. The cathedral still contains several Gothic, Baroque, and 19th century sculptures, 17th and early 18th century altarpieces and some of the most important relics in Christendom, including the crown of thorns, a sliver of the true cross, and a nail from the true cross. Victor Hugo's novel Notre Dame de Paris saved the church and led to reconstruction. In the early 21st century, approximately 12 million people visited Notre Dame annually, making it the most visited monument in Paris. The northern part of Notre Dame in Paris is disproportionately larger than the southern one. The great organ of Notre Dame has more than 8,000 pipes.